The following is a presentation of TFNN. Global Market Pulse with your host, John Logan. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Now, John Logan. <coughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Had a little bit of technical problems here with the DIN this morning, so I apologize for that. Um, we're going to be able to get charts up and, and um, actually get in the DIN collectively together. I give a big Christmas hug and uh, start working some uh, some visuals in there pretty pretty soon. But right now, we're just kind of deduced to audio. But the, the, <laughs> the weird thing is, is we've got a, a new version of the scanner out it's not out yet i actually want to show it to you but we're going to have it out today for you guys to download and um let me just well actually i can't show it to you what am i doing here so what we want to do is also get one of the programmers on with us today uh Demantis out of lithuania and uh just kind of go over some of the new features with him he's leaving today for the canary islands <laughs> so We've got Christmas parties going on with a lot of the other programmers. They're kind of hitting the hitting the road too, so they've worked their their butts off, and I'm I'm so proud of what they've created right here before the uh, the week of Christmas. We're going to keep updating this thing, but right now, uh, the biggest thing that's been done has really been uh, kind of a snapshot chart that's in there that I hope you guys are really going to enjoy. Since I can't show you anything, we're just going to kind of discuss this. I've I've had a tough time with the S and P's lately. Uh, you know, trying to look at this shorten some resistance on the way up 2057 we talked about yesterday actually as support uh, because we had closed above that profile and to me it looked like we were going to try to shoot ultimately for that 2100 i got a little frustrated with this and and didn't short below 2057 because when we get back in these profiles um, we have to kind of take a look at some of the short-term breath connotations when we when we breach some of these inflection points and i just passed on that so all things considered on the S&Ps, I've gotten stopped out of about the last three trades I've tried on, on this particular product. There's been a lot of volatility. Dims the brakes in trading. What I wanted to say this morning for the most part is putting your, all your eggs in one basket is never a good thing. We've we've been kind of right as rain on crude oil. We've been very right on gold. Uh, we've had some really good currency calls, Canadian dollar. We've talked about going long the dollar, getting back above 98, but the, but the, but the S&Ps... I've, uh, I've actually gotten nicked up a little bit with this. So in a trading plan, a lot of times people will get really, really addicted to, to trading one product. And the S&Ps are so liquid. <coughs> you know, you're, when, you, when you make money with this particular product, you're beating a lot of the crowd out there. I mean, I know it's a kind of a victory thing, but you've got to be willing to really spread the risk out. And when you're sitting there with all your eggs in one basket all the time and you have that customary it's going to happen type run where you get nicked up a little bit over you know a couple of days or, or even a couple of weeks um those are the you know the way probabilities go you're going to have these you know kind of stretches where you're going to get stopped out so having the risk spread out and turning the rents the same way and hopefully performing the same types of high probability setup you know trigger points stops targets are going to work out over time mathematically if you set your risk rewards at you know one and a half two three four sometimes even five and higher to one risk reward ratios the math will work out in your favor so not getting too heavy and not getting too enamored with with one particular product is going to keep you in this particular uh, game and you're going to be able to, to hopefully flourish so Again, the S&Ps have been a little difficult for me. Now we've actually broken down this morning below that big 20, 20, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 area with the POC now on the daily. Um, and you've got this 2,000 area sitting down below on the S&P. So I'm, I'm a little disturbed. <laughs> when it, I know I've listened to Larry's show. I've listened to Tom, obviously. 
um, and a couple other guys out there that have been, you know, kind of heavy on the S and P's. As this thing rallied almost ninety points in the la- in three or four days there, or whatever it was, we've we've had a chance to uh, to build into a short, so to speak. And I commend them on uh, hanging in there on some of the some of the things that just weren't looking right. I actually thought we were going to spin around up here above these latest daily profiles. And let me see if we've got our den working now. Let me just check on that. Maybe. Ah, maybe we can get in. I'm not in. Let me restart my browser altogether, Al. I don't know if I'm supposed to be, be supposed to be able to get in right now. Let me just let me just check, guys. Let me restart our hot com. Let's see here. Let's see what kind of time we got left. And I'm going to try one more time here. Hotcom's having some issues this morning. You guys are probably aware of that. And still can't get in. That's okay. That's okay. We're going to keep keep talking here. We're going to hope that we can get these things resolved by the first break. <laughs> so let's move on past the S&Ps. And, you know, what do you do with this thing now? I think we're in a range today between 2000 and 2025. So that's the way I'm looking at the S&Ps today. You know, we've had some massive, massive moves up and down. And, uh, you know, the VIX is relatively strong. So be prepared for the volatility. I know I sound like a broken record with that, but uh, that's the range I'm looking at today. At some point, uh, I don't think we can continue to, do, to just do these massive moves day after day. Uh, let's take a look at the dollar. A little bit of a pullback this morning. What a what a move. This thing just came unglued on the upside here. And uh, right now you've got huge support around 98.30 now. Kind of ratcheted up our support there on this. But, uh, you know, what do you do with this today? You've got 98.30 to 98.48 as big time support on this. All stops got to be below 98. But I think we can just head higher on this particular product. I'm trying to stay in the long trade and just keep stops relatively re- relaxed. Keep stops relative, relatively relaxed below 98 on that. Folks can see you too. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'm a little confused about if the den's open or not, but I guess I guess we're going to find out on the break. Um, treasuries, uh, in, incredible that, you know, raising rates, the rhetoric came out. We talked about. You know, not getting too bearish in, on the 10-year or the 30-year, and that's borne itself to be true again. Getting it back above 126, you've got a nice little half-handle trade on the upside. We've got a nice half-handle trade on the upside right now. And uh, considering what the uh, temperament of the uh, of the U.S. stock market is right now, I think we can easily get back into 126, 23, 24, and even higher. And where's the ultimate targets there? 127 and a half. Still love that particular trade on the 10 year, but had to get back above 126 to start feeling really, really good about it again. Gold uh, breaking some people's hearts here, but I mean, if you know, a lot of people are turning bearish on this. This is this is kind of a good sign for, and we, we're getting below that 1060. And if we have a weekly close below 1060, that is extremely damning for the longs here. Um, we're trading about 10, 1056 right now. 1060 is the unfair lows on our on our 1060 is our unfair lows on the weekly. Um, but you know everybody in the brothers getting bearish on gold fundamentally. So I mean I'm I'm just hearing all the chatter. That usually means that we're going to have some some big moves one way or the other. So you got to st- strap your seatbelt on when you're trading this particular product right now. It's not gonna, just going to kind of peter into no man's land easily. Um, and it could rally in some folks' faces that are, you know, talking all this bearish talk right now. Um, we're going to cover gold a little bit more succinctly when we come back and try to get a, a definite bearing on where we think that's uh, 
particular product's going to head. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit DirectionInvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. John takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. I am logging into the den right now. This is great. TFNM has a crack technical staff, and when something goes wrong, they're right on it. Let me just show my chart here. We're showing gold. I was trying to do a million things, and we were talking 
before when we're having some technical issues about gold. And I think everybody's getting back to the den now. Okay. They're going to need a minute to set the chart up, so bear with us briefly, guys. On gold, I was kind of like all over the place. Hey, we can go down, we can go up. I mean, that's true, but let's just get an idea. You know, with with the sell-off that we've had, we've met some targets at 1060. I told you this past week and, and the week before, any closes on a weekly below 1060 are going to be super damning for the short. So that's kind of what I'm waiting for right now. In my opinion right now, we've – we're in a noise area uh, around that 1060 area. We've met the targets down below. I've talked about it. I'm not super excited about buying that 1060 area as we come down into it. We had a little bit of a first-time touch traders bounce off of it the other day, or last week, in fact, actually. And then we reached a low of, I think it was 1061 maybe. And we caught some pretty good moves up. I mean, it was about a $15, $20 an ounce move at one point. Um, but, you know, what do you do with it now? If you can see my chart, Jesus, uh, let me see here. Let me see if I can get my programmer's handle. I see the chart. Okay, let me see if we got the the. Uh, okay, cool. All right. I think we're past everything i still still hear the ringing from, from uh from logging into the den so anyway so uh that's the stance on gold it's downtrend passing on the longs any type of support we're passing on, we're selling breakdowns we're selling resistance so at this point because of the consolidation around that 1060 i just want to see a weekly close now i don't think gold is you don't hear the ring okay we don't I don't think gold, you have a lot of leverage right now until we get a weekly close. If we're going to get a weekly close below 1060, then I think a lot of folks starting next week will really start possibly starting to get at, start getting out of their longs because we've had another set of technical damaging events happen, and uh, that's the way I'm looking at it. Okay. All right, we're trying to get uh, Demantis on with us, one of our programmers. I don't know if, if we're able to, to do that, but what I wanted to do is I promise this, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's see. Version 4.3 in the scanner. I don't even know if you guys are on 4.2, but we we're doing a lot of changes trying to get ready for the end of the week here, so I'm going to show what's going on. And hopefully... Al can get Demantis on, and if you can't, let me know. Maybe I can help you with that. Okay, so all right, so they're not calling. So newest version I'm showing in the den right now. All right, so what we want to do here is we're just going to go to our dashboard. And as you can see, I want to go into my Forex and Futures section because these these are the two sections that we've actually got data loaded right now. By Monday, we'll have an enormous amount of more data loaded, which will be U.S. stocks, Thai stocks, a couple of other uh, instruments or indices that some people are asking for. It takes a while to load all this, but we're loading it gradually um, just to make sure we're, our database is going to be okay. But right now, you guys can go into, I'm going to go to my Forex section. I'm going to go down to the Aussie dollar USD cross here. I'm going to access this. And as you can see, I hope you guys think this is kind of cool. I surely do. Let me see where I'm at. Yeah. Okay. So this is a feature that that you know we talked about putting in. You've got a chance to look at it in candlestick or bar chart. Um, and you've also got a chance to compress this back or you know, forwards or backwards. Um, and we're showing the the most recent box levels here on the chart that you can mouse over and see what's going on. And we're adjusting these rounding errors and things like that now but um this is something hopefully you won't have to use another charting package for anymore we'll be right back guys
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. It's true. Life is all about choices. At EverBank, they're making it easy for you to make a smart one with this special cash offer. Open a new yield pledge money market account with funds from another financial institution or deposit new funds into an existing yield pledge money market account and you could earn up to a $500 cash reward. And if you're opening a new account, you'll also get their new higher six-month bonus interest rate along with their yield pledge promise that ensures your yield will always be in the top 5% of competitive accounts at banks nationwide. Open a new account or add to one. It's your choice. To qualify, you must meet balance and other limited time offer requirements. Go to everbank.com forward slash TFNN for details and deposit options or speak with one of the banking specialists at 1-855-750-4051 for more information. You must act by December 31st, 2015 to be eligible. Everbank is a member FDIC. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service Fibonacci 24 7 and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the markets opened and even on weekends each Monday you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out and throughout the week when warranted Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day this will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. And we were just getting into one of the coolest things that I think you guys are going to have access to all year. Uh, it's a new feature in the scanner, and what I wanted to do was was bring on, if we could, uh, one of the main 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 dudes behind all this. His name's Demantis. Are you with us, Demantis? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, John. <laughs> Hi, guys. You sound really happy this morning because you haven't oh. really worked a lot and are really rested. Is that true? Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> true. No, the, this is just an amazing day today. I'm so excited and so happy about what we're releasing. So. <laughs> that's all 
yeah. I'm just happy you're, about the new thingy. Well, you're, you're, you, you worked your tail off because uh, along with some other folks, and I'm yeah, going to do this. Here's, uh, here's something else that's going on in our team right now. This is a, a photo from uh, a Christmas party that everybody's having in the office in the, in the Philippines. So uh, one of the guys that works with us, Demantis, as you know, really just went to the next level and basically spent the last 24 hours trying to load data for this along with you um, on the program inside. So he's he's getting to that party pretty soon, but that's the uh, company Christmas party there, if you guys are interested in seeing it. Um, hey, man, tell us a little bit about the new features. I mean, can you, can, I mean, can you expound on that? Because I know you're headed off to the Canary Islands tonight. Yeah, in less than 10 before hours. You, but before you leave, we'd love to hear about it. Yeah, okay. Um, well, basically, we just, you know, added the one key ingredient that was missing from the scanner to being the perfect, uh, the perfect software uh, for all the traders. So we added the price chart with our box levels on them. So basically, now you need nothing more than just the scanner and, well, maybe a broker to exec execute your trades. But uh, you open up our scanner, you pick out your candidates, and you you can see the chart with the with the inflection levels, and you know, it's all there. It's it's beautiful, man. I just I'm so happy about it. Uh, <laughs> Don't cry. Yeah. No, Don't, I'm not crying not unless the, the tears unless the tears of joy. No, it's really <laughs> we've worked our asses off on this one, uh, and it's really impressive, and it's re I'm really happy to see it here live. It's not super functional right now, but I'm sure that we will add in much more functionality to the chart uh, yeah. later on. But you know, just having the price movement and the uh, the box levels there in your face on the scanner for for all the symbols there, it's uh, it's amazing. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome work. Um, this these are just completely from scratch charts and, and uh, information on here, and it's it's hey, I'll, I'll, just just real quick on the uh, mm -hmm. currencies. Are, are they gonna? Is that something that you're gonna have to clear up on the on the decimal rounding kind of arrow? Ah, uh, that's only two decimal points, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably something that I will have to clear up. Uh, yeah. Okay. The, well, it that's will okay. be cleared up in the future. That's, that's okay. No, I mean, you know, we, we were stretching a bit to release this, but uh, no problem. It, I mean, the level is everything's correct, the, just the rounding to the two decimal points, but that's no I, I big deal. I think the visual is just the most important thing here. I yeah, mean, so exactly. Like, so, like, if I go into, let's just go into the S&Ps. I can't believe this looks this good. This is crazy cool. Oh, and actually, if you if you know if you really want to, because it was I was considering if we need to show the box levels there uh, on the chart, like the numbers uh, that yeah. are rounded currently to two decimals or not. Uh, mm -hmm. If you need to see the levels, uh, the actual levels with the, you know the correct rounding, uh, you can always open up the landscape chart for that same symbol, and you will have those you know uh, levels right. there rounded Until you correctly. Get until you get a chance to fix it on your precious time, like sometime in the February when you feel like work. Yeah, yeah just, maybe. Just kidding, man. Just kidding. <laughs> um, this, this, this guy that we're talking to, folks, is one of the more impressive people he, he, on, on a lot of different levels, from a well, programming side, from a responsibility side, from a make-it-happen side, really the most important side. is it's He's, he's just a superstar for us. And um, he's going to go a long way in life, period, with or without us. So I'm just, I, I always want the best Hopefully. for him. Um, yeah. Well, John John gets really, you know, emotional over, over holiday season. So <laughs> don't be surprised. <laughs> no, thank you, Johnny. That really this, means a lot to me. Well, I, I mean it. Um, and, and we'll do a, you know, like a, a group hug uh, after the show from afar. Yeah, here. definitely. Definitely. Um, hey, uh. Let me let me. Uh, some of the other things that you put into this version, um, you've got kind of some connotations, green or red highlights on some of the filters that just kind of show people whether they're bearish or yeah, you know, these are features. Um, that's that's pretty cool. What else did we put in this one? Because I know you 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 did a ton of stuff before we started this six month charting project in a and compressed it into a week. What else? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, well, a lot was done. I don't really recall actually all the de all the minor details. Mainly, we were enhancing the uh, the 
well now as we call them built-in filters uh, so the custom custom sorts that they were called previously uh, we were enhancing the functionality there we added an explanations to what uh, each filter does and how it works uh, and really detailed and you know easy to understand explanations uh, also the bearish bullish so it's easy you know we open up the scanner and you uh, right, right away know which filter indicates which uh, which market side picks out which you know which uh, symbols uh, so these were the main the main things uh, modified. All of the other things modified were basically just minor bug fixes and you know just to make this application feel uh, more robust and more uh, as it should. Uh, if you if you like, I can quickly just take a look at the list of changes that we accomplished. Maybe I will spot something that uh, that's more. That, that'd be great. And I see I see some small little things we're gonna you know just kind of small tweaks over time we're gonna be doing. Um, yeah. But it's it's just it's just awesome to have this type of price action for people to be able to reference visually, you know, what's going on. I mean, here's Crudel. Here's that latest uh, situation on Crudel. That that new new profile that we um, actually this is our four hour. I'm sorry, the daily profile that had appeared the other day, and we talked about passing. There's that you know mouse over there. That there's that 3602 area. And we talked about passing on that and waiting for the breakdown, and we've obviously had the breakdown. And, and uh, you know, this is great to see this visually. Um, you can go yeah, into, you can you can always go into the landscape chart, like like Demanza said, and, and kind of attain the, the levels in here also, which is what we've always had. But I, I love these. A lot of people are like, well, I really need to see a chart. So now, now you've got access to that, thanks to uh, Demantis. Here's well, not uh, only me. There was a whole team working in the background while you were, you know, just drinking beer or whatever right. you did there. And sleeping yeah. a lot. You know, and sleeping, lot. yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm really good at that. Um, <laughs> no, we've, we've got a guy, John De La Paz, who's, you know, while we're just kind of talking about the people who make this happen, he, uh, he's, he actually has his own company, um, and I was just fortunate enough to meet him um, in his own company, I mean, he's, they've had a company that manages the, the database for most of the sugar growers in the Philippines. And he's, he's a very relied upon uh, fellow, and I happened to meet him, and he's just Mr. Backend Database base in the Philippines. So we actually got him on the team a couple of years ago. And uh, it's nice to have people in different time zones, too, you know? I mean, this is... <laughs> Even yeah, though I like, really, even like, though I don't uh, contribute at all, um. <laughs> like when you when uh, how did you say it? Like the sun never sets on on the Taz Empire, right? <laughs> Some, <laughs> I thought I'd heard that somewhere else before. I thought it was related to uh, another empire, though. It's, but I uh, on the British Empire. Ah, that's true. That's because true. Because of their colonies and everything. So we've <laughs> con the Taz has colonized all over the world, also. So <laughs> never sleeps. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. All right. So I tell you what, um, when people go in, we're going to release this today, just to, at least to some beta people. But as you go into charts that aren't there uh, yet with the data, we're, we're, this is a loading thing that we're going to do this weekend. We're going to do the S&P 500 this weekend. You'll have access to all that. And um, then we're going to, we have to knock down Thai, Malaysia, Singapore next, and then we'll just kind of keep going down the line. But that'll all happen in the background, whether. Yeah, maybe actually, maybe since we have that notification functionality in the scanner now, uh, we can maybe push out updates like what uh, what exchanges were populated yeah. with the, the historical price price data. Yeah. Because well, now be. <clears throat> yeah. Now, Cur now. Currently, we have futures and currencies there, right. but. Now, now we'll be using this alert notification system, uh, area of the scanner a lot more often because, um, you know, as things progress, we're really going to be ramping this thing up, you know, on a pretty much on a weekly basis, adding anything that uh, any changes or tweaks that really need to happen. Um, we're not going to be adding a ton more features, just separate whole, you know, foundational features, but we're going to be, you know, continuing to just kind of tweak this on a user request type basis um so but man i mean you know great job uh, i know you're gonna probably need to start packing i really appreciate you coming on the show and uh you know talking oh. about this thing a little bit with us 
Thank you for having. Me. I, I love to share these, you know, beautiful moments. We have them like once or twice a year here with, with you know, with the scanner. But yeah. once they're happen, let's just spread it all over the world. Yeah. No. Yeah. Is... Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, this this is this is this is good stuff. And and you know, again, guys, this is something where we're, you know, we're not showing actual prices on this. We're not, you know, there's no exchange fees. There's no this is something. This is somewhat the Nadex kind of analogy with the where they do average pricing and things like that. You can pretty much get real time pricing off of that, uh, not necessarily from the exchange, but we're kind of doing somewhat something somewhat similar here. So uh, thanks, Demantis. Man, have Pleasure. a good trip. To, have a good trip today and enjoy the uh, the Canary the Island area. Yeah. Yeah. I hope Can't that wait. volcano doesn't explode while you're there. I've, I've been thinking and worrying <laughs> about that. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, you know, I have insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It's about come back. <laughs> well, right, yeah. Man. Okay, uh, thank you for having me. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Uh, thanks, okay, thanks bye, for the input. Guys. Thanks for all the hard work. Okay, man. Okay, hope you enjoy the new charts. Bye. Yep, we will. All right, so he, he's, you know, man, so it's just a, a joy to work with him and one of the things i've learned over time is you know identifying with people and having fun at at work is a, is it you know your life on a relative scale is pretty short um when you think about it and getting mixed up with with crazy people and i know you guys that have been in business you completely know what i'm talking about sometimes when you find people that you can work with you really want to hang on to them and and uh the guys who are just pains in the butts that just you want to get away from them you want to run not walk uh, because it's not worth it in the long run no matter what they bring to the table in the in the short run um so let me uh let me bring some dark gray clouds to the conversation again so here we go let's take a look at the uh at the canadian dollar on the charts here really quick let me go back. To, let me go down to the uh, USD CAD, and we're going to fix these rounding errors. I mean, you can obviously get these levels within the landscape chart right now, um, but as we look at this Canadian dollar, one of the things that, and we've got, we're chopping off the last bar about half of it right there. Let me go back to my e signal here. Maybe I'll never have to show e signal again. That'll be kind of cool. Let me uh, let me pull up the Canadian dollar here. Actually, I got to go to another server to do that. We'll do that when I come back, guys. Or actually, let me start it right now. We got some time. My clock's messed up. So, I'm going to go into this server on the scanner. I'm going to start my. I think this is my currencies page. Yeah. Canadian dollar is something we've been really talking about. Is just really i mean in my opinion no end in sight i mean that you've got a gotcha you you've got a you've got a situation where the dollar goes down we talked about this the past couple of days we talked about it with tom got dollar goes down or, or becomes less valued the canadian dollar kind of sits stills and goes sideways dollar gets more valued canadian dollar gets super devalued that relationship is still there guys and when we go into the scanner and we pull that chart up usd cad um this is this is our daily. Yeah, this is this is a situation, and we you can't map two products on the same chart yet on this particular product. We do have an entire charting package I've showed you guys before, but we wanted this to be pretty short, sweet, and simple uh, in the scanner itself. So, you know, as you can see, this Canadian dollar, these are these levels we've eclipsed, and we're getting the rounding situations uh, a little bit better. Um, you can all, always check those in the scanner. These are this is more for a visual. So when you mouse over these levels, there you there you have that 137811 that we just you know ran through recently, uh, and now we're seeing no signs of any type of slowdown, no new yellow peelbacks happening on ourselves. So, uh, ooh, lot to cover today. We're gonna be right back, guys.
Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Larry Pesavento, a 40-year veteran trader. He uses pattern recognition, Gartley's, Butterflies, ABC's, and Fibonacci in order to trade these markets. Trade what you see next on TFNN. Okay, guys, somebody asked about the Australian dollar a while back in the den. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull it up first in our scanner. And we're going to look at our – I've been relatively bullish on this around those weekly unfair lows, which are around 71.69. All right. And we always – and this has got a one here. So what does that mean in the scanner? I mean, if you're setting a portfolio up that, you know, you can monitor things, that's going to tell you that this is the first week, first breakdown that this is happening and if I go into my break 
down section, just for example, and I pull up, uh, if I put my futures in here, actually my futures are, I'm sorry, <laughs> I've got currencies in here. Okay, so, well, yeah, that worked out perfect. So <laughs> so it's, it's showing that as a breakdown situation on a weekly. Now, this is something I'm going to show you real quick here. Oh, thank God. This is something that I can go back to the right section here. There's so many things. Let's see. Okay. So as I, as I pull up my chart, this is a this is something that has gone a little bit farther south than I wanted to see it go. Um, and I want to pull this up. I want to get the, the level of the market here. I'm going to – this could be considered a noise level, but already today – We've gone as low as uh, 70, 93, or 97. So on a long-term basis even, I'm going to be a, a little bit stingy on this one. I'm going to have to kind of wait and see because remember, you know, we always want to kind of predetermine where the uncle point is on trades like this. And this is something that, you know, I'm, I'm ultimately looking for that top around 74, 39. If that never happens and I get stopped out, again, them's the breaks type situation on the Aussie dollar. We've had a couple of good bounces. Um, I've actually benefited from some of those. But as we come back and as we looked at the dollar situation and the, and the, you know, the move up, we talked about this was not acting that bad. It's still not acting that bad. I mean, on a relative scale, this is not a, you know, like just a, another just massive move south. But, you know, you've got a situation here where we kind of did break the plane of the daily and the weekly. And uh, I'm just going to sit tight here. If, if, if we go back higher and I can get back in this thing, that's that's great. Okay, let me – I don't know how we lost our chart. Let me pull this back up. Sorry if you guys missed all that. <laughs> I thought, I thought – uh, okay. So, yeah, um, as we look at the scanner, I think pulling, going back and forth from the scanners maybe causes some chart problems in the den. But uh, as we look at this, you know, we've gone a little bit farther south than I want to see it go. So I'm just going to sit on the sidelines with this trade now. And remember, there's been some, some decent upside already in this trade, but I think there's even some more upside. So I'm just going to have to be in a wait-and-see mode now and see if we can get a little bit higher to get back in the game on the Aussie dollar. We've got some pretty decent – you know, inflection points that are lining up on weekly, daily, and 240s from the 7169 up into the 7183 area. I just want to see it get back above that area of significance, that DMZ, as I like to call it, because, you know, as you saw this thing move through that area, you saw it kind of, you know, make a, or you heard it make a whoosh sound. It went down relatively fast. And uh, I'd love to see this thing reverse. That would be very damning for shorts. And I'm actually a pretty big fan of this thing going north. Um, and I like how it's shown itself relative to this, do you know, uh, a little bit more powerful dollar than everybody thought. Guys, you've been great. We're going to try to get this thing released today. Um, I'm going to talk to some guys today about putting this out. And uh, thanks for bearing with us. Have a good day. Larry's next. Have a good weekend, guys. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.